Amen. How do we do it? Well, number one, glory to God. Number one, number one, flourishing. Say flourishing. flourishing. Call your name. Say flourish. Look at your name and just do this. Look at your name and just go. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Be like God. That's who you made like. Genesis 127. We're going to be primarily in Genesis 1. Genesis 127. Be like God. That's who you made like. So God created man in his own image. The image of God, he created him. Who? Come on, ladies. You ain't no second class. You ain't no second class. Do you see why I got to bring you up? You ain't no man got no business ruling over you. That's a curse. You should come together as a team. Are y'all hearing me? In agreement as a team. Oh, Lord Jesus, let me get off of that. Be like God. Come on, thank the Lord. Be like God. Ain't no second class. Amen. You made in his image. All right? So if we're going to be like God, guess what we've got to do? We're just in Genesis 1. In Genesis 1. you got to give voice to what God says about you and what you want. Write this down. I'm telling you, write this down. You are, go back and look at this video. Please go back and look at this video. Please go back. See, because we're in covenant with God, and we want God to do everything. God said, no, I can't do everything. I got to manifest what I'm doing in you. Are y'all with me? Amen. We'll get there in a minute. Praise the Lord. Let me run on. Glory to God. Amen. You got to do what? Give voice to what, you, what, what God says about you and what you want. Why? Because the potential of the invisible is released to become visible. Lord Jesus, put up there for me Hebrews 11 and 3 in the Amplified. You got to be like God. You got to give voice to what he says about you and what you want. Hebrews 11 and 3 in the Amplified, it says, by faith we understand that the worlds during their successive ages were what? Framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose. How? By the word of God, so that what we see was not made out of that which is visible. When you give voice to it, come to me. When you give voice to it, saints of God, now you're giving, now you're releasing the potential for the invisible, amen, uh, uh, to become visible. You're giving potential for the invisible to be released to become visible. Are you with me? Amen. In other words, in other words, in other words, all of us in here, you have what you say. <laughs> Do you like it? Now, if you don't, guess what you need to change? Lord Jesus. Because God means what he says, and he says what he means. You got to be like God. I don't care if it don't look like it. Now, in this book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, how many times do you think God said? Ten times. Why is that significant? Because 10 in Hebrew is the number of covenant. If he said it, he got to do it. Come on. Come on. If he speaks it, he got to bring it to pass. So in those 10 times that he spoke, he said at the end, not only he said, but he did. He said it was so and it was good. When God says it, it is so and it is good. It's got to happen. And it's going to be good. So we've got to be like God. You've got to give voice to what God says about you and what you want. Are y'all with me? Amen. Now, I said and what you want because now, you well, all this is going to kind of go together. But this is important. This is important. Remember what I said to you a few weeks ago. I said to you a few, and I probably said it a number of times. Why in the world did Jesus ask the blind man what he wants? Thou son of David, hush up. They got their sight. 
Son of David. Hush, you embarrassing us. You can see I can't. Son of David. Jesus come to him. He got his attention. Jesus come to him and said, now what do you want? I want my sight. You need to tell him what you want. <laughs> Didn't they make a song years ago? Can't stop. Praise his name. I just can't stop. Praise his name. Jesus. Because you're supposed to call him up and tell him, <laughs> Lord Jesus. Come on, saints of God. You, you the hold up. You don't know what you want. Because when you say what you want, you start putting your mouth and experience into it. And he's trying to take you somewhere you've never been. And you holding him up. Because when you put your mouth and your experience into it, you say, oh, that can't happen. Call your name. Say, be like God. So you made like him. That's right. Give voice to what God says about you and what you want. All right? Now, here's the powerful thing. Number two, expect a divine move when it looks like nothing has changed. Now, you see that second verse, don't you? When did the Holy Spirit move? When the earth was, was without form, void, and darkness was all over it. Guess when the Holy Ghost moves? That's when it moves. Even when it don't, if you're going to say what God said, the Holy Ghost moving on that. The angels don't want to fight. Everything got to move on what God says because he created it all. Everything, even the invisible, has got to move on what God says. Now, and so you got to expect a divine move. Come on, 2 Peter 1 and 3. 2 Peter 1 and 3. You at least get this one down. 2 Peter 1 and 3. Look, look, look how we receive everything. 2 Peter 1 and 3. Uh, the Bible says, according as his what? How? Has done what? Given unto us how many things? All things that pertain to life and godliness. Do y'all see that? You got to expect the divine... When you speak God's word, the Holy Ghost is moving. He's moving when it don't even look like he's moving. Because when the word goes out, it's got to move. Tasha sang that song. When it don't look like he's working, he's still working. <laughs> we make up. Promise keeper. Come on. <laughs> Every time she said that thing, I say, Lord Jesus, when it don't look like it working. <laughs> He's still working. <laughs> That's why that ain't going to take a place on the worship team. Ain't going to take a place. Y'all see that? Folk. That's when the devil try to get in your mind and in your head. It don't look like it's working. But as soon as you spoke... What did the angel tell Daniel? He said, from the time you prayed, your prayer was answered, but them devils tried to hold me up. The only reason it took me this long is because I had to fight them demons, and I couldn't win by myself. I had to get some uh, angel uh, equal to and greater than. I had to call the Prince Michael. Oh, come on, saints. Are y'all hearing me? Just like Daniel, you better keep on praying. You better keep on fasting because God is moving on his word. Come on, thank the Lord, saints of God. You hear this? Glory to God. Amen. God. Amen. Be like him. You may like it. Come on, give voice to what God says about you and what you want. And when you do, expect, expect a divine move. That's when you get moving. Asking, seeking, 
knocking. You get moving. I'm waiting on the Lord. Get up. Bunch of religious jargon. I'm waiting on the Lord. Get your you know what. How are you going to wait on the Alpha and the Omega? How are you going to wait on the beginning and the end already? He knows the end from the beginning. Who are you waiting on? Get moving. For everyone that asks, it shall be given. Everyone that seek, they shall find. Everyone that knock, the door shall be open. You ought to thank him right now. He said, everyone, sinner, say, black, white, and if you like God, all you got to do is work it. You got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You got the angelic host on your side. You better thank him, saints of God. Lord Jesus, you see this? You see this? That's what Satan tricking folk now. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing better. I lead you. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? I'm gonna have all mine. Then I'm going on to be with the Lord. Anybody? I got a witness here. All is mine. I'm gonna have it right here, and then I'm going to be with the Lord when it's time. You ain't got to. You ain't got to choose. You ain't got to choose. Well, should I tell? Uh, 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 uh. So I'd rather have silver. Uh, I'd rather have Jesus silver. I don't listen to that song. Every time that song come on, I turn it off. Because that song got you trying to chew. I'd rather have, sound like it's sound like hum, hum, humble, don't it? I'd rather have Jesus than silver. Now, I ain't hating on y'all. This song is good. It's got a little, little song. But I'm telling you, I don't listen to it because I'm above that. I got Jesus, silver, gold, houses, land. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You'll have what you say. You'll have what you say. Now, all I got to do is make the sacrifice. Come on, thank the Lord, say. Come on, keep saying what he said. Oh, watch this, watch this.